Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Yes. Hopefully everybody's doing good, no bad things are going on, and you're sitting back chilling, watching this video from our house, okay? Welcome to the house, welcome back to the channel, just welcome back. If you haven't subscribed at this time, please do so, either now or after the video. And make sure you're liking and sharing as well. All content on my channel is alleged, okay? Unless I say otherwise, uh, it's an exclusive, and I got facts to bring, you know, to pretty much back it up. But other than that, everything is alleged, alleged, alleged. And we are only doing critiquing, discussing. We may do a little research on the surface, uh, and we're just making conversation, okay? Nothing more, nothing less, okay? Giving our criticism and commenting on what is already out there, all right? So it's only for the mature audience. Okay, mature and sexy audience, okay? Oh, Lord. Uh, that's my sister calling me. Oh, shoot. Hold on. How did I get... Okay, how did I get this to stop? Oh, she getting on my nerves. Okay, I had to call her back. Sorry about that, guys. Um, yeah. So make sure you're subscribing, sharing, and doing all of that. Let's get right on into Kim Zosiak. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. I did not know, and probably it was talked about earlier on in the Housewives uh, seasons when they premiered. Really don't know. But now I'm understanding why Kim wanted to change Brielle and... Um, Ariel's uh, last name because she wouldn't she didn't want to be associated with a person who you know pretty much did something bad to a 14 year old okay took advantage of a 14 year old uh so yeah that is something we're gonna talk about because Animated Times brought it up for us to talk about and I don't know if they just digging up dirt on Kim because she's going through a divorce now per se, allegedly. I think it's just something for her to get out of the taxes, and then they will get back together after that, like Nene and Greg did. That was my speculation on them, and I'm putting the same speculations on this person and Kim. We're well, not that uh, person, but Croy and Kim. But this this guy, he took advantage of a 14-year-old. And y'all know, you know what I'm talking about. Take it, they can go to jail for that, okay? And I think he actually did. But anyway, one of the most shocking revelations about Zosiac's past was when her former husband, Daniel Dominique Touche, or Touche, was called out as a child molester, okay? And we're getting this information from Animated Times again, and Yuma's Pera had brought up the article for us. All right, and they said Real Housewives star Kim Zosiac was shocked to find ex Daniel Dominique Touche molested own stepdaughter. Now, I'm like, okay, Kim. Okay, so why did you have children by him? Because, uh, you know, information do come out like that. But I'll give you the benefit of the doubt if you didn't know. But, mm, girl. Okay. Reality star Kim Zozek is known as one of the housewives in the reality show Real Housewives of Atlanta. The media personality is making waves on the internet as she is giving up on her marriage with her husband, Croy Beerman. She filed for divorce after spending 11 years together. Uh, let's see here. Believe it or not, she learned that her ex-husband has reportedly uh, listed their 15-year-old daughter. 
which was uh, Kim's stepdaughter, a decade ago. Uh, her former ex-husband, uh, Dominic, was put behind bars for extra, okay, the SEX, uh-huh, uh, assaulting, okay, a teenager, a source called, close to Zosette said. Kim can't believe the father of her girls is a child, you know, Lester. When she got the news, she was sick to her stomach. Kim couldn't stop thinking about the shocking crime that Daniel committed on that innocent girl. Daniel was sentenced to 10 years of jail in 2010 after he was proven as the culprit who uh -huh, lested a teenager. He only served 2.5 years in prison. 2010, 2010 saw the arrest of uh, Dominique for harming a kid. Actually, you know what I'm talking about, SEX. Uh, another source close to those ex said, Kim feels terrible about what Daniel did and has spoken to his victim on the phone, but she's still trying to come to grips with the fact that her ex-husband is a child, Esther. Okay, uh, Daniel already had a history of arrests and convictions for crimes dated back to 2004, including felony, burglary, stealing, and violation of peace. Uh, the highly security McDonald Walker Correctional Institute in Southfield, which houses murderers and ex-offenders, S-E-X offenders, is where he served his term. Now I'm like, well, man, come on, Kim. You know that in everybody else's business, and you kind of be nosy in your own. You mean to tell me you didn't know this person had a track record? Before the alleg well, it ain't allegations, he com he confessed to doing that crime, um, being a a Lester, okay, being a Lester. So you trying to tell me the burglary charge, the stealing, uh, <laughs> you didn't know anything about that, really, girl? We ain't gonna believe that shit. We ain't gonna believe it. But see how your stuff just come out when you already just falling down. You remember all that stuff you said about Nene? You said about. Portia, you said about Kenya. Karma is a is I'm telling you, it's a MF. Karma is a MF. So that's the reason why. And like I said, this may be an old story. I may have forgotten about it, but I'm bringing it out as a new story to the platform. But Kim, you were saying all of that stuff, and Nene, Nene and Portia and Kenya could have used that stuff right back at you to hurt you. Maybe they knew, maybe they didn't know, okay? Maybe it's just coming out for the first time. Because uh, it's about the first time that I can remember it's coming out. And he looked kind of questionable. I mean, he's cute, but he looked kind of questionable in the minds, you know what I'm saying? I mean, like he's obsessive, you know what I'm saying? Like he could target you and cut you up in many body parts and nobody ever find you. You know, kind of like a lifetime movie. But moving on from there, uh, we're just trying to figure out Kim, Kim, Kim. Whew. But anyway, uh, the stepdaughter talked about how he lested her. She explained that Toshe first tried to become friends with her. And then when she went, comp when she was comfortable with him, he tried to, you know, a lesser her. The victim said, he became a friend. He became very close with me. He manipulated me into thinking that he was this good person and that everything was okay. Then once he built that relationship with me, that's when all the abuse started. She further, I mean, she further added, did I deserve what happened to me? Absolutely not. I'm glad that Kim has been going and trying to take custody away from him. The great, that's great because he shouldn't be in anyone's life. She was reported abused for two years as per record. Zosette consulted her legal team and made sure her kids stayed away from her ex-husband. Okay, but you wanted him, but you want your kids to be uh, tied up with a man that you just got money from and you did certain things for pleasure towards him. So what did that make you, Kim? Hmm, what does that make you? <sighs> Prostitute is what's coming to my mind. And an adulteress is the other thing, because I think the man was married when you were calling him for different things and him showering you with different gifts and paying your mortgage and all this stuff. Mm, karma, 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 karma. And you knew he was married, but you still continued the year long or maybe it was some years long affair with Big Papa. 
who name is, what is that man's name? Hagir, something like that. Anyway, I guess he had money to do what he wanted to do with you and give you what you wanted, as long as he got something in return. Okay, so yeah, mm -hmm. you and that um, solo red drinking cup, what are you pouring in your cup today, girl? You got a Lester and you tied up with that and you got a adulterous man who went to jail for something. He was arrested for something. I don't know. What was he arrested for, Kim? Okay. And now you got an ex-football player that loved your dirty draws, but yet y'all can't stay together. You didn't think about counseling. You didn't think about anything. So what's coming to my mind is you don't want them to get you further into debt by you staying with them or... Did he cheat, girl? Or did he come out of his race and went to the black side, girl? Or the Asian side? Or let me see what else race we got out there. Mm, the Indian side? Girl, a Native American side, girl? Or did he really just stay in his own culture and race? Because you're saying it's irretrievably broken. There's no talk of reconciliation the bond between you and him have been obliterated yeah that's big powerful right there that she used to mess with mm -hmm. and Kim was so cute then i don't know why she wanted to mess up her face and get all the work done that she did get done don't understand that maybe she can go practice but now because they might garnish her check and stuff if she gets to the hospital and start practicing back as a nurse because Phaedra found that information out for her. She was truly, she was a registered nurse and it's her state, but whether she practiced or not, mm, that wasn't able to be found on the records check that uh, Phaedra did on her. Okay, so Kim is smart, you know, unless she had somebody do her assignments. And I don't think online was really that big at the time. So, yeah, uh-huh, Kim's smart, but she just don't want to work. Mm-mm, she don't want to work unless she's being filmed, and then she's going to show you. Because Kim is really country to me. She act country. And then she walking around with that silo red cup. That just shows <laughs> she didn't come from the high class raising like people that were born with silver spoons in their mouths and not having to have to work for a doggone thing. They had what you call a legendary uh, long heritage money. Mm hmm Yes. But um, that's pretty much all I got. And really, that was enough that brought my attention to wanting to do a, um, a video on it. I didn't know. Uh, Kim's ex was a, you know, uh, mm -hmm, a Lester. Mm -hmm, did not know that. That's probably why she wanted to get those kids' names changed. But Kim, you're, you're dumb because you should have just got their name changed to your name. Zoziac. There's nothing wrong with your parents' name, even though you can't get along with your parents and you being this old uh, and, and toxic. So they can't be no more toxic, toxic than you. Okay. So, um, mend those fences again as well uh, with your parents or have, you know, peace with it. And I think you pretty much had peace with it. You just didn't want to be bothered with them no more. You felt that they were embarrassment, which I'm like, Cam, 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 Cam. And you're wondering why all this stuff is uh, coming your way. Mm hmm Because that's one thing about the IRS. You will pay them. They will see your check before you will see your check. So uh, make out a payment arrangement. You're too big to make.